We're looking at one of the most personal, heated rivalries in sports entertainment. For as long as these two have been at war, Randy Orton is the most dangerous he's ever been in his career right now. I agree with you, Cole. Both men are in tremendous physical condition, and their resumes are second to none. When WWE's A-plus quarter is looking for prey, bad things happen. And no one knows that better than John Cena. That might be true, but there is no one who can come up big and win a match like John Cena. The man has done it all throughout his career, and no one knows that better than the Viper. We know Cena rises to any challenge, but Orton's more dangerous now than ever. Is there something Cena must focus on in order to survive? I think the challenge for Cena is going to be matching Orton's brutality. Cena needs to get to that same sadistic level as his longtime rival. That's how he beats the Viper at his own game. Not even a two count for him. He was elusive there. And that was offense with a hurtful purpose. Uh-oh. Randy Orton looking to finish this one. Gets her nose. Slows down. Not even close. I thought he might have had him there. But it's early. Orton gets the better there. Beginning to shift in the favor of the Viper. And Cena finds himself on the receiving end. Uh-oh, got snatched up here. What a press slam. Gets him with the counter. He goes for the quick pin. It's going to take more than that to keep his shoulders down. Too early for that pin attempt. Got him set up in the corner of the ring. Saw it coming and got out of there. In control here with a swinging neckbreaker. Textbook. Cena dodges out of that. What a punch. Now he's been put on the defensive. Great counter. He's able to fit. Oh, Randy Orton, the apex predator. The Viper looking unstoppable. Vintage Orton. Reverses the move into a DDT. Heads out of the ring, but needs to be mindful of the referee's count here.
Looking wobbly in the corner. Big clothesline. Solid contact from the Viper. Swinging the elbow to halt the offense. 